Regina Telly. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Queen of Heaven, rejoice. Alleluia. For he whom you did merit to bear, Alleluia. has risen as he said. Alleluia. Pray for us to God. Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary. Alleluia. For the Lord has truly risen. Alleluia. Let us pray. O, o God, God, who gave joy, joy to, to the world, world through, through the resurrection of thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant we beseech thee that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance always remain with us. Amen. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let's all right. During this Eucharist, let's pray for the soul of Bosco Mendes. This Mass is offered as a Thanksgiving Mass by Parveen de Souza on the 50th birthday. Along with this intention, let's specially pray for all of us who are participating in this first Friday of the month. And also, let's specially pray for those who are celebrating their birthdays and anniversaries. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of today gives us the third appearance of Jesus to his disciples, and this was an unusual 
circumstance. Where Jesus is on the show and speaks to his disciples, and disciples are struggling to do the fishing, and Jesus instructs them that put the net on the right side. The disciples obey and they catch 153 fishes, a symbolic number to signify the known nations at that time. And also, they've obeyed the command of the Lord and Jesus prepares the breakfast which is something which is unusual but at the same time very significant events of life of Jesus being highlighted after the resurrection. What the evangelist wants to show is that Jesus walked and lived in the midst of the people in spite of being resurrected and also he shows the disciples who were closely associated with the Lord were able to see. We participate in the Eucharist. We also desire that same participation as the disciples had. And today, as we participate in this Eucharist, let us encounter the Lord. May the Lord grant us that appearance of the Lord so that we too proclaim His word to the people around us. For the times that we are faced, let's ask pardon and forgiveness. With a contrite ask, let's all pray together. I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask this Mary of a virgin, all genius and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
spring. Almighty ever living God, who gave us the Paschal mystery in the covenant you established for reconciling the human race, so dis dispose our minds, we pray, that what we celebrate by professing the faith we may express in deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, as Peter and John were speaking to the people, the priest and the captain of the temple and the Sadducees came upon them, greatly annoyed because they were teaching the people and proclaiming in Jesus the resurrection from the dead. And they arrested them and put them in custody until the next day for it was already evening. But many of those who had heard the word believed, and the number of men came to about 5,000. On the next day, the rulers and elders and scribes gathered together in Jerusalem with Annas the high priest, and Caiaphas, and John, and Alexander, and all who were of the high priestly family. And when their heart set them in the midst, they inquired, By what power or by what name did you do this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, Rulers of the people and elders, if we are being examined today concerning a good deed done to a crippled man, by what means this man has been healed? Let it be known to all of you and to the people of Israel, that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead, by him this man is standing before you well. This Jesus is the stone that was rejected by you, the builders, which has become the cornerstone. And there is salvation in no one else, for there is one another name under heaven given among men, by which we must be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response, the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. Kindly repeat. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. Give praise to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His mercy endures forever. Our response? The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done, a marvel in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice in it and be glad. Our response? The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. O Lord, grant salvation. O Lord, grant success. Bless is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God and has given us light. Our response? The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. Kindly rise for the gospel.
This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice in it and be glad. Gospel according to St. John. Jesus revealed himself again to the disciples by the Sea of Tiberias. He revealed himself in this way. Simon Peter, Thomas, Nathanael, of sons of Zebedee, and two others of his disciples were together. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They all said, We will go with you. They went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. Just as day was breaking, Jesus stood on the other shore, and the disciples did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, do you have any fish? They said, No. He said to them, Cast the net on the right side of the boat, and you will find some. So they cast it, and now they were not able to haul it in because of the quantity of fish. The disciples whom Jesus loved therefore said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard it, it was the Lord, he put off his outer garment, for he was stripped for work, and threw himself into the sea. The other disciples came in the boat, dragging the net full of fish, for they were not far from the land, but about a hundred yards off. When they got out on land, they saw a charcoal fire in place, with fish laid on it and bread. They said to them, Bring some of the fish that you have just caught. So Simon Peter went board and hauled the net ashore full of large fish and 153 of them. And although there were so many, the net was not torn. They said to them, Come and have breakfast. Now none of the disciples dared to ask who you are. They knew it was the Lord. This came and took the bread and gave it to them and so the fish. This was on the third time that Jesus was revealed to the disciples after Jesus was raised from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty, Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and of all his holy church. Perfect within us, O Lord, we pray, the solemn exchange brought about by these paschal offerings, 
that we may be drawn from earthly desires to a longing for the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift, lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation of at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, to love you as more gloriously when Christ, so our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore, O come with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and enter willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the Son and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of God. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that your health is worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your chest spread throughout the world and bring out the fullness of charity together with Francis of Pope. Oswald gracious our bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Lord, I pray for all the people gathered in this church. Bless all of us, our family. Bless all those who are celebrating their birthday. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, our spouse, Blessed Apostles, all the saints, St. John the Cross, St. Teresa of Avila, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us out into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your poses, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Will ever reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy, be for me protection, mind, body, and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. The Jubilee Prayer, Father in Heaven, may the faith you have given us in your Son, Jesus Christ, our brother, and the flame of charity enkindled in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, reawaken in us the blessed hope for the coming of your kingdom. May your grace transform us into tireless cultivators of the seeds of the gospel. May those seeds transform from within both humanity and the whole cosmos in the sure expectation of a new heaven and a new earth, when with the powers of evil vanquished, your glory will shine eternally. May the grace of the Jubilee reawaken in us, pilgrims of hope, a yearning for the treasures of heaven. May that same grace spread the joy and peace of our Redeemer throughout the earth. You are God eternally blessed, be glory and praise forever. Amen. Archangel, defend us in battle. Be a protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him. We humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen. 